The teenage girl was taken to the Royal Children's Hospital in a critical condition with suspected head, face and chest injuries. She later died in hospital. Major Collision Investigation Unit detectives remained at the scene throughout the morning. The scene of the hit run in Ringwood. It is understood CCTV footage from one of the small businesses on the corner of the intersection is being examined by police. Head Resicrizal contains from RB aircraft which faces the intersection where the crash happened, said it was a well-known black spot for car accidents. It's notorious for crashes, T-bones, cars crashing, rollovers, car on bike, she said. No one knows who to give way to and pedestrians cross over Marunda Highway while turning lanes at Heatherdale Road and Dampier Grove both go at the same time so no one knows who to give way to. The scene of the hit run at the Ringwood intersection. She said the crash that killed the young girl was one of the worst she had ever seen. I've seen car rollovers and people seriously injured but this is one of the worst, she said. The intersection remained closed for most of the morning and city-bound traffic on the highway was being diverted at New Street. Ms Pontaine said at least 20 to 30 officers were still at the scene hours after the crash. Police and ambulance at the scene of Ringwood crash father of two Al Hadhan has a 12-year-old daughter who attends a nearby secondary school and crosses the intersection several times a day. He said the death of the teenager had shaken him. I came, outside, 40 minutes after, I saw the ambulance was there, all the roads were closed by the police and after some time I saw the blood on the road, he said. It's a very notorious intersection, particularly for pedestrians. The worst thing I always observe is that cars, when pedestrians come, they don't stop. In many incidents I have to have my hands up to make the car stop, then they stop. They see the pedestrian crossing and still they want to go fast. He said change was needed. They should change it as soon as possible to avoid all this confusion and people should wait for pedestrians, give them the way first. Sue Langley, who works at a nearby financial planning business, also said locals often describe the intersection as a notorious black spot. We have several accidents a year, when they are doing a right hand turn off Heatherdale, people treat the intersection as a T intersection and whiz round, she said. Heatherdale railway station in Mitcham, on the Lilydale and Belgrave lines, is used by hundreds of locals each day as they get to work and school. Ms Langley said recent changes to the station had meant pedestrians coming from the north were crossing Marunda Highway at a different, more dangerous spot. What's changed recently and what has made the intersection worse for pedestrians is they have changed Heatherdale train station, which used to be on the west side of Heatherdale Road, and is now on east side, she said.